Hey Jesse, this is Carlos. Thank you for giving me the chance to show you this quick video. I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that I do and how it can help you actually get more clients. Or maybe if you don't need the clients, actually maybe uh, recommend somebody to me and uh, you know help them out. So I'm, I'm going to do a quick breakdown. This is this going to be quick, so you know hopefully I, I don't lose you. But uh, basically, uh, what I do is I look at your website. I throw it into some of my software that I have, like for example here. And this is what's going to show me the uh, the amount of traffic to your website, right? So let's look at these are the keywords you're actually showing up for. I actually have that are you know kind of meaningful in San Diego. So let me let me zoom this in real quick. No, I think you should be fine. So you can see uh, engagement photos, San Diego. You're number nine, and there's about 90 of those per month searches. There's uh, six dollars and 41 cents if you were to advertise through uh, AdWords. As you can see, these are some of the keywords you're actually uh, showing up for, and these are all keywords related with engagement so you're doing very well in the engagement part but you're kind of lacking in other of the services you offer like wedding you know corporate portraits family newborn maternity and uh, and this one here so what I'm gonna do is throw your what oh, I, I did want to suggest something your uh, one thing that is very important is to have the right address and you have three different address right you have this address on your Google Plus business page you have this one with the STE here I know it's just a small change but that there could throw up throw off your um, your uh, your listings um, and that's that's for the map listing so let me show you real something really quick So let me see. As you can see, this is a, a different address. So even though there's only like a, what is that, a comma there, it is going to throw off your website. It is going to throw off your ranking. So your when I say the, the business, I mean the uh, Google My Business or the Google Plus page or the map listings is here, you know. You can do a quick search and just like on your phone go to like Google and open up uh, the website in incognito if you don't know how to do that you come here even on the phone and put a new incognito window what that does is it does a clean search so it doesn't take any of your previous searches into consideration so if you ever want to see where you are what position you are in for the services or products that you sell go in incognito mode and search and they will tell you the true listings of where you appear so why do you want to be in the top uh, well, it was pretty easy All right let me show you something I'll show you some proof wedding photography in San Diego okay this guy is number one on the map listing so I'm gonna throw his website just in the same place where I put your website All right that's uh, let me see let's throw it in there and I'm gonna do a quick comparison between him and you as you can see the amount of traffic let me back up a little bit traffic organic traffic you get about four four a day visits this guy's getting like 423 and let me let me go in here show you the comparison and show you the little uh, the graph here so this is your website something in uh, February 2014 you you got a lot of hits for this is more June, July, right? Four hits, and I can even break it down into into every month. So you get about four searches or four visits to your website per day. When as you compare to a guy like this, even though this might seem really low, compare, he's getting like, you know, 420, 423. You know, that's a lot of, he had a big spike here. I guess that kind of, February 2014 okay that doesn't coincide but anyways you can see this guy and look at the keywords this are, these are the keywords that this guy is just killing okay look look at this word San Diego wedding photographer that gets a thousand searches per month they're paying nine dollars and ninety three cents of viewer to click on them 
uh, if you're doing ads and this guy is in position number nine so let me let me uh, search this San Diego wedding photographer boom I come right here oh excuse me let me copy this word and I will search in incognito mode to get a true reading and this guy pops up number one see this is the map listings and then this is your actual website you know you can actually have your name here and here so let me get this guy this guy's number one you know just on the organic listing so let me see exactly what he's uh what kind of words he's ranking for and what you know what kind of volume he has see this guy has even a bigger volume so let me see his name again uh, his name was what, was, what was this? Unveiled Wedding. Oh, it was over here. So, Unveiled Wedding. As you can see, he's right here too. So, he's number one here, and he's number, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, five. Another thing to know is when you are, when you look on a cell phone and you know, you actually will get more, you can see here, 43% are mobile from their phones and 53 from the internet, I mean from the computer. Um, let me see about yours too. I don't know, there's not enough data on yours. But most people are coming through uh, the cell phone, right? So the good thing about being here in the map listings is the top three, you actually have a call button next to it. I mean, you can do a search right now for just anything, you know, like best pizza on your plate, you know, near where you live. And you're going to see those three listings that have that phone number. So, of course, you know, it's always better to get a phone call than to get a website visit. So I'm going to I'm going to break down a few things for you. Uh, so I already did, you know, the importance of me being on the top and the, and, and the search volume. Well, let me let me get more into detail with this guy. <coughs> See, he's number one for San Diego wedding photographer, San Diego wedding photography, 260 searches, 390, 390, 140. <coughs> San Diego photographers, 720. San Diego photographer with, you know, no S, that's 390. As you can see, there is a ton of traffic for photography in San Diego, right? So what do I do? I go look, what do I do? I go look at his page. What is he doing? What does he have there? How is he ranking? I basically kind of replicate everything that he has on your website and start moving up. Okay, so I'll show you the search volume and I want to show you also, I showed you the ad, your address, how it's wrong in all three places and that's going to throw it off on your map listings. Um, so let me close these out. Um, these are the citations. These are like the places where you have uh, uh, accounts with. Like you have Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Yelp, Foursquare, Wedding Wire, Merchant Circle, right? So you have, I believe it was 39, right? You can easily get a lot more and that's going to help you move up in the rankings on the, on the map listing and also is going to help your build, your website get stronger, okay? So, and then I also have another thing here. You know, this is another program that scans the sites where you're registered. So basically, you know, you wanna, these are like any, you know, free for all, you can register anything, but then there's also, I think you actually have something here. You have a wedding uh, specific, uh, like, uh, what are they called? Uh, directories and you know that is going to be helpful also under art right art directories those would be very helpful to power your website up because they're actually related to what you do like this one wedding i also saw so i'm going to close this out but you know there's there is a total of uh 200 actually you know 208 that you can actually register so that'll help you tremendously you know also if you get uh, directories that are related that are actually in San Diego that are San Diego related like this one is very very good to have since it's related to the area let me see this one's very good too you know that's your website you know you got your tumblr so if you can get directories that are local that's gonna help you tremendously
because it's relevant, right? It's relevant to San Diego. And like I said, art and wedding directories is relevant because, well, you know, photography is sort of art and is a type of art and photography and wedding, they go hand in hand. So let me keep this up. And I also wanted to show you, um, how Google actually finds your website, right? So let's do a quick search. I want to do engagement photography, okay? Actually, let's go over here. San Diego. So, you know, Google kind of gives you what they're looking for, right? So I typed in engagement to photography San Diego. And you're gonna see that, you'll see words that are highlighted, right? Engagement right off the back is highlighted. Engagement, San Diego, photography, photography, right? Photography, photo, photography, engagement, portrait. You know, engagement pro, po, uh, portrait is kind of the same thing as, you know, en engagement photography, I guess, or, or, or wedding photography, right? It's, it's related. You know, this is like your, this is your title of your page. Every single page has a title. Every single page has a description. Every single page has a URL. So I'm going to break down, and this is one of the, my favorite parts of, of doing this. I'm going to break down one of your inner pages here under wedding. Okay. So right now, this is how your URL structure is, right? For this specific page, Jesse Photography Wedding right and i'll go in here and i'll see the title the title is not something you see on uh on your website it's something that's done on the back end so let me see if i can find this so this is the title engagement to photography engagement san diego so that is the title of your website okay what and, and then also you have your description right you have the description this is your description you know, some of these don't come out right because when you press, when you put and, it kind of throws off uh, some of some of the words or it looks, shows up weird, right? So this is your current description. San Diego Wedding Photographer by Jesse Photographer. No, Jesse is located in San Diego. He works all over California, right? So this is what uh, um, people will see, right? When they actually come to your website and I'll show it to you right now by breaking this down let me see see that's that web that URL that's your title and you know there's see one thing one thing to know is you can only put 55 characters on your title and there's only a hundred and fifty five words or, or, or uh, characters that will appear in your description right so just know that if you put more than that it's not going to show up so what i would do is i go in here and i actually look up uh, what are people what are people what people are searching for okay so let's just say i already did some of these so i kind of you know kind of know what to put in there but this is what i do okay because you want to make everything relevant so i put san diego wedding photographer is going to give me a list of of keywords right so san diego wedding photographer that's about 1300 searches i also have another tool and sometimes the numbers are a little bit off sometimes a lot off but you know it is still a good indication of of uh of the number of searches okay so according to this that has you know that many searches even photographers right with an s so what I suggest is under your URL, which I will, I will tell you the most important structure, your most important thing that you can put, uh, or actually the most powerful thing in your website is your URL followed by the title fi followed by the description. So if you have like a specific keyword under your URL structure is going to rank really high cause it's relevant. Your title also helps. The thing is, you don't want to put the same words over and over in any of these. So, for example, what I suggest is for that page, it would be Jesse Photography slash Wedding Photographers San Diego CA. Wedding Photographers, because that takes care of Wedding Photographer. 
that takes you know wedding photographers wedding photographers in san diego right san diego is right there ca takes care of the california which sometimes you'll see but i want to show you also uh let me see let me log back in here this tool also gives me additional words that are related I'll come right here and you see all these related photography wedding photography right so it breaks it down this is just like more towards wedding stuff right this is not engagement or family or anything so like i said your uh your your um your title also is like right now you have this title here which is you know it's, it's good engagement photography in, you know san diego but i would change it to something like this you know like something that would be more relevant more something that actually you know some of the keywords as you can see that's a little long to actually kind of match some of the bigger keywords that people search for like this one you know san diego wedding photographers marriage picture specialist or you know it's just it's just you know it's just a suggestion and i'll tell you why okay if you have something like this you have the san diego here you have the san diego here you have wedding photographers wedding photographers maybe you don't need the second you know photographers or wedding photography the thing is you already have photography here marriage wedding same thing right google knows that is basically the same thing so you optimize your titles your urls and under your description there's two ways to do it you can either write out your description like you have here or leave it blank under the back end and what that's gonna do is for, let me let me show you if you leave it under like the back end if you leave it blank what it will do is it will scan that page and if you have content on there is gonna you know that's relevant to that page you know maybe you put 500 words down here all about you know wedding photography it's gonna scan and put all those keywords that you know you you take from th that i have over here throw some of the in there that have some pretty high searches and it'll trigger not only these specific keywords but trigger the higher search keywords because it's all relevant and you know it, it's just gonna help you bring more customers you know more clients more calls and you know like i said i don't know if you need more clients or maybe you can start building your team you know or maybe you know somebody that needs more clients so you know if you want more i can give you more details this is just a quick video and uh thank you for watching